Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, my name is Biodo Olujimi. I represent Ekiti South. Mr. President, I will not go into niceties. I will just take it as I have seen it. Uh, we do, I believe we won't reduce this issue of insecurity to individuals because it's a national issue. Mr. President, we're all in denial, especially government. And if we were not in denial, we would have declared insecurity a national emergency. The way we declared COVID a national emergency. Because if we had done that, we would have had multi-sectoral approach to tackling this insecurity. Right now, we are an endangered species. People are going into homes to abduct, to rape, to do all sorts. Hats men are everywhere. We have spoken several and nothing has been done. Mr. President, hmm. posterity beckons because posterity will not forgive us. We are part of the system. We must do something drastic. We must declare insecurity a national emergency so that everybody starts to work on it as we're working on COVID. The figures that are coming out of insecurity are higher than the figures that are coming out of COVID. The deaths are more. So, why are we just pretending this thing is not there? Like I said before, One more minute. posterity will not forgive no. us if we don't do the right thing. Thank you very much. President, uh, the constitution that you all swore to uphold at all times is very direct and specific uh, on section 14 to be the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary responsibility of government. And because we are in government, one will not be tired of talking about the security of our people. And I think that is what we are doing. But our responsibility here is talk. We only talk and suggest what to be done. It doesn't go beyond, it doesn't go beyond uh, this level. Our is to talk. And that is what we are doing. Yes. Mr. President, my other respected colleagues, Senator Bukachua from Bauchi State, arguably the oldest man in this place, has spoken in my mind. And looking at the man directly, you will, you will guess where he comes from. You will guess the ethnic group he represents. The man has spoken the minds of so many Nigerians, Mr. President. He said almost about 20 years ago, they from, they from Bauchi State, they have been suffering it. You corrected him because between Bauchi State and the rest of the world, there is a Yubi State. He said, yes, while you have suffered this for only 20 years, perhaps, we have suffered it for the last hundred years. You said so. And now the thing is spreading to the rest of Nigeria. Perhaps... Let me, let me correct that. Before you put the media, picks it up. Uh, I didn't say we have suffered it hundred years. This transhumans, the movement, the migration, has been on for more than 20 years. That's what I mean. And because I'm neighbor to him, Directly, his senatorial district and mine share a border. I know even before I was born, far before I was born, that transhumance has been happening. That's why I said maybe for a hundred years, not the, the kind of crisis that we are witnessing today. The kind of crisis we are witnessing today is something new to us. That everywhere now, you have harsh men from wherever they come, having problems or security situations happening because of uh, some, some of them that are criminal. Not all of them are criminal, but some of them are criminal, and that's the target. So you have a minute to round up. The problem here is that, thank you, thank you, timekeeper, you're a great man. The problem here is that, Mr. President, how many of these people have been arrested and prosecuted and sent to jail? That is the question most people are asking. A criminal 
must be arrested wherever he comes from. Whether the criminal is from Nigeria or is from outside the country, there is no way you go to Ghana and commit an offense and you will not be arrested and jailed. So, how many of them have been arrested? That is the issue that is before us. Those who have been charged with the responsibility of arresting and prosecution, they must tell Nigerians what they have been doing with these criminals that are in their midst. That is the problem that we have. Once that is solved, then Nigeria will move forward. Nigerians are very good at receiving visitors everywhere. You have Nigerians everywhere in the country. Those in the south and the north, those in the north and in the south. We are everywhere. We are living together. So, Mr. President, arrest, persecute, and let this movie be sent to jail. That is the point. Thank you. So, I'm, 